Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice, and today I'm going to talk about a brand new class of diabetes drugs called the SGLT type 2, or Selective Glucose Sodium Co-Transport Inhibitor Drugs. And what these drugs do is they actually block the kidney's ability to filter sugar or glucose and force you to spill sugar into your urine. Uh, these drugs I like to call the bippity boppity boo family because the generic names are canagaflozin, deptagaflozin, and remagaflozin. Crazy names, but they're all the generic names. Uh, the FDA just allowed the first of these drugs, canagaflozin, which is marketed by Johnson & Johnson, to be released for use, and it goes by the name Invocana as its uh, trade name or marketing name. So when you take one of these medications as a diabetic, it blocks or inhibits the transport of glucose across the kidney and you spill anywhere between 40 and 80 grams of sugar or glucose into your urine a day. Uh, when we get rid of sugar in this manner, it lowers the sugar in the bloodstream. That's how it helps a diabetic drug. It may have a couple of other uh, chemical impacts on the body, but this is the primary mechanism of action. Uh, because we know that a gram of sugar has four calories, if you multiply four calories times 80 uh, potentially grams of sugar, that's 320 calories a day of calories that are lost in the urine that you don't have to exercise. So that's basically two cans of Coke worth of calories being spilled in your urine a day. So it has some potential interesting uh, uses in the future as a weight loss drug. Uh, some serious possible complications of this drug because we have sugar in the urine. Um, we can get vaginal yeast infections as a side effect and urinary tract infections because the sugar uh, feeds bacteria and it feeds yeast. So this is a absolute known side effect of the medication. Uh, one of the other drugs that's being tested right now, daptagaflozin, uh, has been implicated in bladder cancer and perhaps pancreatic cancer. So uh, the FDA is doing what's called post-release uh, studies where they are making Johnson & Johnson follow patients on this new medication in Vokana and they're going to look at not only cardiovascular outcomes, does it uh, decrease the risk of heart attack as a diabetic drug, they're going to look at cancer risks, bladder cancer in particular, um, and they're going to watch and see what type of side effects like urinary tract infections uh, and vaginal yeast infections are uh, because of this. Uh, this other drug, daptagaflozin, was uh, recommended in a uh, recent vote from coming to market until they determine what the cancer risks of this possible medication are. So a familial uh, glucosuria is a familial trait where you spill sugar into your urine. Uh, these people generally do not become diabetics, which is what uh, created the interest in this as a class of drugs. Uh, Canagaflozin, or Invocana as its trade name, uh, has been released to the market. It causes you to spill sugar in your urine. Um, it's associated with lower blood sugar, so improved diabetes care. It's associated with weight loss as well because you're losing uh, anywhere from 160 60 to 320 calories a day in your urine. Uh, there's absolutely concern about yeast infections or uh, urinary tract infections, and there may be some cancer risk. So for right now, it's on the market uh, being studied and followed. I would not recommend it uh, at this point as a weight loss drug. If you're on multiple medications for diabetes when you're uncontrolled, um, it's an interesting add-on that we could use. So uh, I'm going to wait for the endocrinologist to kind of uh, muddy through this and determine what the risks are before I start using it in my practice but uh, it's the first of a new class of drugs, uh, so keep an eye out for this and other drugs to follow for both diabetes as well as weight loss. Dr. Greg Castello, thanks.